Welcome back. This is Chili Davis. And I want to welcome to all my new viewers and welcome back my subscribers. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Uh, this is the channel where we talk about stocks and other financial literacy topics such as credit, budgeting, and other wealth strategies. So I want to thank you for stopping by. And we're going to talk about the top stocks in my portfolio. It is pre-market trading, but I just want to show you a couple of of my top stocks this morning. So uh, right now we have Uber. Uber is up 2.18%. Uh, uh, ticker symbol NUE or Nucor is up 2.76%. Coin or Coinbase is up 4.79%. And ticker Upstart is up 0.62%. So I would imagine Coinbase being up partially has to do with um, a lot of the cryptocurrency has been moving. Uh, cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Dogecoin had a, a nice move this weekend. Uh, so I'm on a Coinbase and looks like Coinbase was up 27% over the weekend. Um, it is interesting. Uh, so. Uh, Keep your, keep your outlook on that. So uh, again, Coinbase is the uh, public exchange which holds uh, many of the cryptocurrencies and I do have a Coinbase account, um, but it is up, like we said, 3.5% uh, this morning in early trading. Uh, it does have a 52 week high of $429. Uh, it is slowly coming back. The initial pop on the stock when it came out the gate, it went it went high, and then it came down, came down, came down. So since this uh, stock has come on the public exchange market, um, the stock has been trending down, but it may be starting to find a base. So uh, just kudos, you know, I think it can still get back to the 52-week high, $429, but we'll see. Uh, it, a lot of it's going to probably be dependent on Coinbase uh, excuse me, Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies. As long as they're doing good, uh, I believe that Coinbase uh, will continue to do good. I mean, we've had record, you know, uh, grow cryptocurrency. For example, Bitcoin uh, last month was trading somewhere around 31 or no, as low as $29,000 per coin. So now it looks like it's up a little bit over uh 30% up to 45,000 per coin. So the, the stock itself, Coinbase, the public exchange that holds many of these cryptocurrencies is now trading up in the last, well, let's see, yeah, in the la last month, it's ba basically, you can see low point in July, uh, the Coinbase uh, global exchange was down as low as $220. And now it's back up you know, as you can see, just, you know, a few pennies, but still 220 up to two, that's still a nice move. And so if they can improve on this progress, uh, you know, Coinbase may be something to trade on its own, you know, because not only does it have the, you know, cryptocurrencies, it may be other products and services that are coming out. So Coinbase the stock has been around, um, uh, on exchange for a little less than a year uh, since April. So you have to, again, give it some time, give it a few quarters, earning calls, et cetera, to see where the stock is going. Uh, but anyway, the good news is that cryptocurrency is up and also Coinbase, which holds many of your favorite cryptocurrencies. So let's go back to Robinhood and see what else is going on in the news. Um, to beat Tesla, Volkswagen bets on making its own EV batteries. And that's a good strategy. That that was one of Tesla's biggest moves. Is, uh, and I thought it was strange because I used to, you know, follow Tesla big, you know, this is about eight years ago. Um, but Tesla, like second or third plant was actually a battery plant. And I thought to myself, oh, that's not cool. Well, it is cool because every big company has to plan early for small moves to get to the, the big moves. I'll put it that way. So anyway, uh, this is the article here on Wall Street this morning. Some other topics. What type of shareholders own the most 
number of Microsoft Corporation shares. Uh, Barron's gold recover after flash crash and premature Fed tapping fears. And some quick daily movers, Coxian Auto Holdings up 68%, Westport Fuel up 29%, and Dicerma Pharmaceuticals down 28%, and Quotient Technology is down 25%. And lastly, article here in Robin Hood, a billionaire backed mining firm to seek electric vehicle metals in Greenland. Okay, so, um, you know, other metals like lithium and other uh, bolt, cobalt are needed to, you know, continue to build these uh, EV batteries. And so some billionaires are going to the source, which they're looking for mining areas, looks like in Greenland. Okay. So this morning, my top stock, like, in vino. Uh, pharmaceuticals, ticket symbol INO, is up 1.87%. Ticket symbol TSLA, where Tesla is up 1.70. Ticket symbol UPST, or Upstart Holdings, is up 1%. Ticket symbol SOFI, SOFI Technologies, is up 1%. And ticker symbol Blink, B-L-N-K, the electric charging station company is up 1%. So not much going on in pre-market. <clears throat> uh, you know, I guess the market is still relatively trading slowly. Let's see here. Let's see, okay, let's see if anything's weak in my portfolio. You might want to think about buying into. Oh, uh, it's not much moving right now. Everything is still pretty, pretty much flat. It's pre-market, so um, the market isn't really shaping up too much. This morning, there's not that much volume because you have. A lot of stocks at zero, zero point zero percentage. So not much volume this weekend, um, but we'll see. There are some fears out there that they will be raising interest rates. So um, the, even though they said that, that they wouldn't, uh, there's still some rumors. So keep your eye out on that. Um, if they actually start talking about raising rates, that's going to slow down the tech growth party and lean it more toward the banks because uh, if banks get to go up on interest rate they make more money uh, per loan but right now it's uh you know um seller's market if if you're in the real estate you know right now uh you some people are still selling homes and, and getting great premiums off it and some uh, consumers are getting good deals off the rate. So, you know, 3.5% 3, 3 or some as low as 2.5%. Anyway, uh, don't see much activity. I can't find anything that's really down uh, in my portfolio this morning. Um, but again, the top stocks I have here this morning are uh, Tesla, TSLA up 1.63% and ticker symbol INO up 1.54%. So again, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and leave your comments below and have a great day.